Welcome again, dear friends, to now the Friday edition of Fresh Bread. It's Friday, July 1st, 2022. This is Reverend Phil Anderson here, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church and Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church here in the capital city of good old T-Town, Topeka, Kansas. Good to have you with me. We're at the end of the work week, getting ready to launch the holiday weekend, July 4th, coming up on Monday. Hope you're having a great day. Wanted to wish my brother Tom a very happy birthday out in Santa Barbara, California. Tom's birthday is here today, July 1st. So, Tom, happy birthday. Hope you're having a great day. And now, let's listen to our scripture reading today. We're going to get through the lectionary. Today's reading will come to us from 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 1 to 7. Now, brethren, we wish to, to make known to you the grace of God which has been given in the churches of Macedonia that in a great ordeal of affliction, their abundance of joy and their deep poverty overflowed in the wealth of their liberality. For I testify that according to their ability and beyond their ability, they gave of their own accord, begging us with much urging for the favor of participation and support of the saints. And this not as we had expected, for they first gave themselves to the Lord and to us by the will of God. So we urged Titus that as he had previously made a beginning so he would complete in you this gracious work as well. But just as you abound in everything in faith and utterance and knowledge and in all earnestness and in the love we inspired in you, see that you abound in this gracious work also. Amen. So much of our lives are based on what we see other people do. And, you know, we, we can hear people talk a good talk, but if they're not walking their walk, they really matter. We've talked before about this idea of preach the gospel at all times and if necessary use words. And I believe we have to use words, but certainly, um, it's an and both. It's not an either or, I don't believe. And also we have to recognize the fact that our actions are vital. To backing up our words. We're not saved by our works. We're not saved by what we do. But what we do is the evidence of what we believe. So that if we're friends of Jesus, then we are going to follow through and obey him. And I don't care what your line of work is. And that you realize there's only one way. It's not just, oh, God's a good God and he loves us. No, there is only one way, and that is through Christ to get to heaven and to have that relationship with God here on earth. So... Remember to reach out to the Lord this week as we head into the weekend now. Let's take advantage of every opportunity when we're out with people. Let's show them the love of Jesus and let's don't be afraid to say his name. And well, let's again uh, be looking forward to this weekend. Again, this is July the third, uh, uh, July the first, and we're looking forward to the July 4th week. And July 2nd, of course, is tomorrow, so that's Saturday. So we'll have our weekend edition of Fresh Bread coming up. Don't you dare miss it. July 3rd is Communion Sunday at both Oakland and Kansas Avenue, United Methodist Churches. And then, don't forget, Monday, 4th of July. So I hope you're doing well. God bless you. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Well, I do thank you again for joining me on the weekend edition of Fresh Bread here, Saturday, July 2nd, 2022. Hope you have a great 4th of July weekend as we celebrate this great nation, United States of America. We thank God for all those who have defended it through the years and who have fought for our freedom. What a blessing to live here in this great country. And now... I want to remind you again that service times for Sunday are 9.30 a.m. here in Oakland and 11 a.m. in Kansas Avenue. We love you. We wish you a great day. Take care. God bless you. We will hope to talk to you real soon and hope to see you in church on Sunday. So until then, may God richly bless you is my prayer. And take care and have a wonderful rest of the weekend. God bless you.